Also new at 10 tonight, the controversy continues over the Sakonet River Bridge toll. Tonight, East Bay residents get another chance to sound off on the issue and get an update on possible alternatives to fund bridge maintenance around the state. For all the different options that are being brought forward. Dozens of East Bay residents turn out for the latest hearing concerning tolling on local bridges. I think with our determination and our willpower, I think there will be no toll on the Sakana River Bridge. I am very optimistic. It's been a hot button issue for months, charging to cross the Sakonet River Bridge in Portsmouth to help pay for Rhode Island's crumbling roads and bridges. Budget analysts have told the Rhode Island DOT that fixing local roads and bridges would cost almost $1 billion over the next five years, money the state does not have. A lawsuit continues to work its way through the courts. We have submitted a, uh, a suit to federal court, and that suit basically states that uh, in accordance with federal law, you can't toll a bridge after it's already up and running. State Representative John Edwards serves on the Special Legislative Commission to study the funding for East Bay bridges and other local issues. He tells Eyewitness News momentum is on their side. If you asked me a year ago, people asked me a year ago how I thought we were doing with the toll. And I said, I thought we had a 40-60 shot. I think we've got a 55%, a 45% shot now of keeping the toll off that bridge. With a budget of more than $465 million, maintaining over 3,000 lane miles is not enough. But residents say tolling on a Sakonet should not be one of the options. Right now, it costs 10 cents to cross the Sakonic River Bridge. Another committee hearing is scheduled for next Thursday, December 19th, at room 35 of the State House at 4 o'clock. The commission is expected to submit a full report in January.